right, are we ready? Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? Doing fine. Okay. Have you ever sat down and watched TV? Of course, right? <laughs> you know, you stay up late watching the famous TV shows, but have you ever wondered how they shot the frame or film to it? Mm -hmm. The high resolutions? Well, this camera does that. And this camera mm -hmm. is called the Aria Lexi. It was made by the company Ari in 2010 of April. It was released, and this was the first camera that, it was the first major transition to the camera to make films and TV shows that we know today. Now, this camera can shoot up to high resolutions. You know how you have 1080p? Well, this one can do 4K, and this one can shoot beyond 1080p. So you can really see the high resolution. This, this camera became popular and it was used by most major directors of the film. So this camera actually was nominated three times in 2014 for the Oscars. Now the movies it was shot with, was some you may know, 12 Years a Slave, American Hustle, and The Wolf of Wall Street. So as film producers and people was buying this out, it was like, hey, we have a whole lot of money, so why not let's make new cameras and new next generations to it? So they did, so they came out with a whole nother model. They came out with an ST, SXT, which is super extended technology. And they came out with the XT, which is extended technology. And the other one they had was the Mini. Now the SXT was super extended, extended technology. That can be shot in any environment. So you have that for that. And the extended technology, it can also shoot up to high definition, so 4K resolution stuff and the mini is just one a portable one you can carry around you could just shoot it there. I was actually unaware of this camera one time at one point because I just thought in Hollywood you just have like the big white camera where you have to look bend down and look at it. You ever seen one of those? Mm -hmm. James Cameron when he's filming those. I thought you use one of those. But normally when I film I don't use like my cell phone I have at the time. I had a Canon power shot, which was really good, but it wasn't quite at the filming stage yet. So when I was introduced to it, I was like, oh, I need that. But like when I looked it up, the prices were like high. Like, how much I think this camera cost? 10. 10,000? Mm -hmm. 10, mm -hmm. 10, <laughs> the camera actually cost $66,575. So I was like, you know, I can't make that. That's a sound. Like, who has a pen? money. So I was like, I can't do that. So normally what I do to excite myself about it, to take my mind off the prices, I would go online and I would look up the camera and I would put it to add to cart just so, just for the fun of it. You know, so, so, like so later on in life and advancing through school, I took classes, but they weren't classes geared towards film or shooting because you know you don't only have the basic classes like art, math, science, history. Mm -hmm. And we never had really clubs in our school dedicated towards media and film. So later I got discouraged. So I don't even do it anymore because that happened. And sometimes when I go to my parents about the camera and I tell them, hey mom, can I get this camera? She's like, how much it costs? And I tell her the price. She's like, uh, for what? in life, like, that's, that's a salary, 66 dollars What can we do about that? So I really couldn't get it, and I was like, okay, mom, okay, mom. Now, it all changed when I got to TCC, and I signed up for the enforcement class, where they had an intro to studio arts, which covered videography and, photo, and photography. So I took those classes. I went in there, and I really got the basis of it. They taught me how to write scripts how to cast and how to direct. So one day we had this project to do and it involved movies. So we had to make a movie. And I really didn't have a camera to make a movie. So I wrote my script and I started working to make the camera. Cause you know, like at the time, most kids, they don't have that type of technology. So they only work to save up the money to present it. So I didn't have the money, but I got to a point where when I was working, I would start saving up 4,500 every month 
two big account, but it was you know, close to $66. So I went on eBay one day and they had a price for $13,000. I was like, okay. So for periods of two months, because we have a deadline to do by January, so the process of two months, I had to start filming around September. So I had to accumulate the money to get it. Well, on eBay it was like for $13,000. So I had to take out a loan for the extra $4,000 because I had $9,000 saved up. You know, like 4,500 for 109, so I saved up for that. And when I took out my own, I went on eBay. Like I didn't think it was gonna be that cheap because I thought it was gonna be broke for thirteen thousand, but it was actually that camera. It's, mm -hmm. For thirteen thousand, man, I was on. <laughs> I was. So I did the fast one day shipping. It came in around the next one to no, not one to two to three days. So when I got the camera, I started. Working with it, learning the ropes of it, because you know, the first one you get it, you start doing that. So after I did that, it was time to film. So we had to find our locations. So I found our location down in North Carolina. We go down there, we start filming, it starts going good. But then problems came about because, you know, when you first buy something, you know, you want to test it out and you want it to be yours for a certain amount of time before you give it to that person. That was kind of like with me and this camera. When I got this camera, I didn't have much time to it because I was pressed for time and she was a film. Now, my executive producers and my cast kind of came into a problem. They got mad at me because I would only hog the camera instead of sharing it to like film the scenes. Like, I just wanted to be allowed the camera because it was mine, so I paid a lot of money for it. And like, who really wants to share this stuff when they first do it? Right. So that became about after that. I started filming in late September. The camera was perfect for me because it's all I wanted as a kid. So that was that. Now I'm currently in the finishing stages of my film. I hope to get it up by December since the deadline is January. I would show y'all a trailer, but I, I really don't have much time to edit it so probably next speech I will have that up for the house like I'll probably do high next week so I have that up for y'all hopefully.